Last time, Ginny got her scuba certification in Baja's most beautiful dive area. Mm -hmm. We stayed for just over a week in Cabo Pulmo. Highly recommend you make a trip there. And then afterwards, we headed back north to La Paz. In today's video, we have another family that's traveling full time and they're doing Baja and they have a different setup. They also have a couple extra kids, a couple <laughs> extra animals. And so we were really curious to get their take on how was it traveling Baja? They're actually like us, towards the end of their time in Baja, they're about to head north to the States. And so this is a great chance, a great opportunity to kind of pick their brains and share what were some of their trials and tribulations. We are in beautiful La Paz, Mexico. We met some other full-time travelers. Uh-oh. <laughs> so Craig and Brianna are also wrapping up their trip. We're wrapping up ours. We're all heading north. We got to talking though, and all of us have had some ups and downs throughout yeah. Baja. Yeah, the true cost of Baja. Yeah. <laughs> More than just gas and campgrounds to be here in this beautiful location. Some of the issues that we've had, um, our fridge the other day, again, I know we had an issue in Texas and then, okay. <laughs> once we were here, it wasn't staying as cold and that's a really big issue for us. I'm diabetic, my insulin has to stay cold. Um, so the campground that we're staying at, Tempestre Maranatha here in La Paz, the girls at the front, they were awesome. They let us use their fridge for my insulin until we could thaw it out. And for now, it's okay. Um, yeah, we thought it was broken. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, we turned it back on, it didn't get cold, but we gave it an extra day and now yeah. it is cold. So just very slow to cool. Hopefully it hangs in there till we get to the States. Yeah, yeah. some of our <laughs> awnings, one of our awnings actually ripped from the crazy wind yeah. here in Baja. Everything is covered in dust, <laughs> even on the inside. It all has a layer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that's, sure part that's part of the decorum, right? Just that layer of dust. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a nice uh, sepia uh, yeah, color. Exactly. That's yeah. That means you went yeah. to Baja. Yeah. 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 We'll, we'll yeah. wipe it off the next day. Yeah, it'll be good. Just, yeah. Uh, just, so we just stopped wiping it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah you have to. <laughs> yeah. We're like, forget it. It's, well, it's funny you say that about your fridge, because our fridge also took a dive uh, somewhere yeah. along the way. Um, on the road out to San Ignacio Lagoon, it's like 10 miles of just straight washboard yeah. where you're just, everything is just shaking and moving. That was rough, that was rough and it was hard on me personally. And all I wanted was a cold beer when I got there. Yeah. And I cracked the fridge open and that was warm. Oh. It was a total bummer. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's, that's okay. one for Baja. Yeah, 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 yeah. one of many. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, so we have been going on five weeks now, I think, without a fridge. Oh, we got a little wow. cooler. So. We got a cooler yeah, that we get ice every day. The people at the store in Los Perlas did not like us very much because we came for ice every day yeah. and they didn't like having to go out to get it. And okay. uh, But it is what it is. Una so. balsa de hielo. Yes, I've okay. learned that one that. too. Hey, <laughs> one bag. <laughs> but so yeah, so the fridge is broke five weeks in a yeah. cooler and then um, we traveled with my parents and my sister's family. So luckily they had working fridges so if we had something we had to put in yeah. we could get it in theirs but now we're on our own cool. and we got the cooler and we are just making it work we will start eating good once <laughs> again once we're in this yes. <laughs> but, yeah. but what was the high point of taking that road the high point of taking the road it was well well worth it because we got to pet and kiss the whale yeah. and it was Unbelievable. So every single one of our kids and us, everyone got a pet one. Cannon actually got to kiss one too. Wow. And it was just like one of those experiences. Like we've been on the year or on the road for four years. Mm -hmm. So we've done a lot of pretty cool things. Yeah. This may be number one. Oh, really? Maybe that, at the yeah. top. Really, it was that, cool. that amazing. And cool. even with my sister and her family, my parents, who my parents are, you know, 65, like they everyone was just like this is unbelievable. Yeah. Oh, you guys are like breaking our hearts a little bit. We made the drive. We drove all the way out there. And when we got there, they were like, 
Well, it might be two hours, might be three hours, and I uh, I couldn't do it with Tucker. I didn't yeah. know. Yeah. He'd never been on a boat that long before, yeah. and so we made sure that my parents came to visit from oh, the okay. States. Okay. And uh, we made sure that while we were staying in Toto Santos, we made the drive to La Paz to do the whale sharks yeah. okay. with them. That way we had a babysitter, and there was cover, and we got to swim with the whale sharks. So this might be one of That's our really cool. high ah. points. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. was yes, awesome. We, do we, didn't, we didn't get to touch them. We got to You're not swim. supposed to, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. So no, it freaks you. them out too much. Yeah. yeah. Well, now see, now I'm jealous of you because yeah. swimming with okay. the whale sharks was Good. like, well, I'm, for yeah, yeah, it was like <laughs> on my list. Like, we're gonna do this right here. Yeah. We're gonna do it. We're gonna well, do it. And then I was like, Arr. so next time you guys do whale sharks, and we'll do there the, you go. Go. Is it gray whales. Gray whales. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. cool. Yeah. And you can only do it from like I think January until maybe still now in April. But my yeah. sister and them were down here last year in December. They went and true Baja style. They went there, were willing to pay the people to take them out to see the whales, and people were like, there are no whales, we're not going. Uh, so they didn't, but it was okay, because they didn't have to pay them to not go see it. So in true Baja style, they were like, we're not gonna make honest. you pay us they're if there aren't any that's, whales yeah, there. So, yeah, that would not so happen in the States. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly, they'd be like, come on, There's we'll go find we'll one. Yeah. Which of course, now we know going out there, you see like a hundred, like yeah. it's oh, crazy. Oh, so when cool. you go at the right time, which I think that January and April right. is when you'll see them. So. Okay. So that was amazing, that was but cool. yeah, so that the fridge awesome. um, broke, but it was worth <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> worth going for that reason. Um, and then also just part of us traveling like this is coming to Baja, and to give you guys credit for not being on the road if, as long as we have been doing it, but if we would have came down here when we first started traveling in our first year of traveling, we would not have rolled with the punches as well as we are now. It would have been like, oh my gosh, like the fridge broke, like that's it, we're leaving. Yeah, we're we're done. back home, like that's it. We're this time we're kind of like, ah, we'll figure it yeah, out, we'll right. make it work. So being on the road longer has definitely helped us realize like you figure all that stuff out yeah. and like things happen and like you just make it work and like it would just kind of, you roll with it more. Yeah. Well, it's also made us eat out more. So like, oh yeah, oh. experience oh. excellent shrimp tacos, uh, fish, yeah. it's amazing. You know on the hot yeah. That's all right. Yeah. And, and that has been really good for me as well with Tucker. Oh my gosh, I was that mom. I was the OCD crazy mom when we were in the States. Like, don't touch him until he's washed his hands. I wash them again just in case. And as soon as we cross the border, um, Tucker has not been to a single restaurant where the ladies have, even the even the guys, but they have not swooped in and picked yeah. him up and carried him around so that Jesse and I could eat together and yeah, enjoy our awesome. meal. And it's just like, don't let him, okay, you Okay, fine, yeah, yeah, we gotta good. do it. He'll be fine, that's just good for his immune system. So that's been good for me. Yeah. Yeah. I've been forced to roll with the punches in that sense. Yeah. Uh, Piquito Casanova. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the other thing too, is just how like community and family based this the Mexican culture is. Like, I, I love the families. Awesome. Yeah, yeah really. it really is amazing, and that's a part that we're going to be sad to leave, and yeah. it'll be hard to leave for sure. Yeah, yeah, it'll be awkward being back in the states. Yeah, you know, it's, sitting it's totally sitting different. down at a yeah. Chili's and be like, yeah. can you yeah. hold him? <laughs> Yeah, they're like, you're crazy. Yeah, kids are going to pop in to say hi. Malia, come on over. Hey, guys, come on. All right, we're gonna, kids are going to pop over and say hi. All right, here comes number four. All right, here she is. There she is. We got Indy barking, our dog barking in the chair. Who got to kiss the whale? Oh, oh yeah. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone else got to pet the whale? Yeah, Pretty you touched cool, it. Huh? What did it feel like? It feels like wet rubber. Yes. Wet rubber. Yeah. Wet a lot rubber. of particles on it. And, oh, good but point. Yeah, and then like the mom was basically pushing the baby like towards the boat. Like, really? Yeah, really? so it was really cool, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. She's like, look at my beautiful baby. That's no. incredible, yeah. Very cool. So you cool. guys turn in a little Baja kids down here, huh? Yeah, look at this. Yeah, yeah Tams and... Uh... And you guys can surf now, right? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> cool. Surfing, but what did you guys probably like better than even the surfing? Boogie boarding. Boogie boarding. Oh, yeah, they, that was real big in Toto Santos. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So they did a ton of boogie boarding and had a lot of fun with it. Yeah. Max, <laughs> yeah, we celebrated Knox's birthday down here. Oh, oh how old are you cool. Knox. Knox? How old are you now? Six. Six. Oh. <laughs> big boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we were worried about that, like finding you know birthday stuff to do, and every like in the smallest town we went to, they all had pinata shops. Nice. Yeah, oh, cool. so <laughs> yeah, we did. No, not your guys, but our cousins, two cousins, and then his. And so a friend we met. Parties. And a friend we met. And we ended up having yeah. like four birthday parties yeah. on here. Oh, but cool. Yeah, but yeah. So the other mishaps we've had though is we have a big crack in the wall of our RV. Which um, our RV was brand new when we bought it, so bringing a brand new trailer oh. down to Baja. 
you gotta we work kinda, out the kinks before yeah, you Yeah, we kind of knew that wasn't the best idea, but so there is a crack in the wall that we... Um, is it from the, the frame twisting? It or? must be because <laughs> it seems like the whole side, like the frame, the wall, and then like the bed frame and stuff like that, there's like a little gap in there. So something must have torqued when uh, we... Yeah. So yeah, so we we have our warranty, thankfully, which okay. will be taken care of when we get back to good. California. That's good. So, yeah, yeah. That's good. we got so, that kind of lined up. So yeah, that was a little bit stressful. We had to shave off the bottom of the slide out so the slide out will keep opening. Uh, so oh, some of those things... Sli our slide was ticking. Jesse is actually just trying to put some, some lube on it yeah. Yeah. a minute ago because yeah. we're like pushing yeah, in. Okay, on. hit the button and push. Yeah, go, go. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we got this. I got the saw, and he sawed the bottom off of some of it. So that oh, happened. Good job, and then, well done. Yeah, and then on your brand new trailer, we're like, oh. yeah, we're hacking it. But this. yeah, but then, um, and then our table broke. So our table, like, we put it up and down every night for the make the bed for yeah. the kids. And right now, like, when the table's up, it just kind of goes like this, oh. and then it kind of goes like that, and that's where we sit and work, and it's kind of like. Okay, that's a little annoying. So it's a lot of like that type of stuff that has just happened. And then the dust, the constant yeah. dust and yeah. dirt and the sand I don't care about, but the constant dust. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sand but, wipes off pretty easy. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But that dust. But I don't know. Is there anything else that you can really think of that was? No, you know, and like the thing about it is like what I'll remember about this trip is like the good times and like just yes. the culture, like the sun has been out every single day for the uh -huh. last like three months and <laughs> like learning how to surf and like the food instead of all these other things that we'll take care of and get fixed when we All get the back. crap, yeah, it, it doesn't outweigh the good for no, sure. definitely. Yeah, yeah. So it's well worth coming down here, even yep. for all those reasons. Just be prepared for them. Yep. Yes. Know that the roads are not the same as the U.S. <laughs> yes. Now you yes. guys do need a 40-foot towing a truck. Like, yeah, kudos to that. Yeah, I mean, credit to you guys, because that is nuts. Like, that is yeah. crazy. But you're showing you can do it. Yep. Yeah. So it's being prepared for, you know, what you're going to get. And also, we've had some issues with electric at the campground. Yeah. Where we've hooked up, and then it's been, like, way high voltage, and we ever had, like, a surge, like, through the RV. Really? Okay. And, like, yeah, some of that type of stuff. Yeah. So um, I was filling up my water like through the spout, you know, oh. inside, and I my finger touched the screw, the metal screw, like just below that, yeah. and I got a shock on it. <gasps> wow. So I started testing all over the place, and sure enough, oh, wow. I was getting a back feed through the campground uh, electric. Not so we cool. just unplugged it, and I was running off of our little portable solar panel for what a week or yeah a week something we had an extension cord going through the window so yeah. we could plug some stuff in there i wish i'd have shot video because we were the only show and i was looking at the yeah. wiring oh. and just exposed wires oh, yeah. outside there's going. no code down here i don't think so wow. yeah. But, yeah so then i was afraid it was something with the rv but i checked it when we got here and it's all good here so, okay okay yeah, so it's a campground thing but Example just of those things, and then we have the solar panel and an inverter, mm -hmm. which we like the idea because then we can go to those places where we're not going to have power. We yeah. have that option. Still have have that. Some basic yeah, we stuff. can charge yeah. our laptops and do all that. Our first stop off at San Felipe, we went, uh, went to a different RV park with the Victors because mm -hmm. uh, they took the big rig and they had this beautiful oceanfront little oh, spot yeah. with the blop yeah. on the side. And, we're, and, and but she's like, well, it's kind of a tight squeeze. Like, ah, we got it. We just <laughs> drove down to Mexicali. <laughs> we're good. We can do that. And and so we kind of awesome powers, you know, <laughs> it, it wedged in there. And it was so close, and like that last two feet. <laughs> and so there's a side on our RV where it scratches paint off, oh, where I hit something. No. At the same time, the top hit the yeah. flopper, uh, no. so we got two nice big scratches. Yeah. Oh, gee. And we did well, not fit. Uh, yeah. Some advice: get it fixed before you leave. It's oh a yeah. Lot cheaper down here. Better to. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. We had some friends who um, got into a car accident in Guero Negro, mm. and they fixed it in uh, Los Brillas for like $300. And wow. It was a lot. It was extensive body damage and matched the paint really nice. So really. Something to think about. Yeah. Okay. I know you guys are on a time schedule. Yeah, but, but maybe we'll yeah, but. come back. <laughs> yeah, I know. It might save us some serious money. <laughs> yeah, the other thing is just like, I don't know about you guys, but I felt like totally safe like the whole time yes. that we've been yeah. down here. And I know that's a total misconception of, you know, what people are saying in the States because 
when we kind of announced this trip to our followers, we got some people saying like, don't do it, you know, yeah, turn around now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Same, with, same with our families. Yeah. The whole two weeks before we left, they were like, oh, did you hear about this that's yeah. happening in Mexico? Yeah. Don't go. Don't, you should You should yeah. go somewhere else. Yeah. 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 And we're like, well, where are we going to go? Yeah. But yeah, right. we, same thing. We yeah. felt and it's, you know, safe. it's like the States. You don't go into Hi, like... Baby. You know, South Central LA or somewhere go. in Chicago, South Central yeah. Chicago, like at yeah. night or whatever. Or even Stuff just not driving at night, like not taking the RV at night and driving, which in the States we drive at night a lot. But yeah. here we're like, we're not going to yeah. do that. And, yeah. you know, just being smart about things. But yeah. other things. We've actually felt the safest uh, in the small towns, like, like, like out yeah. in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. 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 People yeah. in the middle of nowhere, you got to watch out for, for banditos. But we yeah. actually are more cautious in the big cities. Yeah. They call La Paz, where we're at here, the sleepy town of 385,000 yeah. people. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. And it, it's it, is, town, yeah. it is nice to come into La Paz after being in some of the other places and be like, oh, it's like a normal, there's yeah. normal yeah. stuff yeah. here. And like, it's nice to be in a city and then you're like, okay, now it's time to go. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Good for a little while. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, no, we would agree with you guys 100%. Yeah. We have all kinds of little things happen, scratches, dents. end of the day though it was 100 worth yeah for sure. coming down here it was a good experience yeah uh we ha we're not back home though we have about yeah. 200 miles <laughs> we still haven't made it home we, so. we should we should do this again once we cross the border yeah, right? yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly my parents have made it up they're almost there they're outside of ensenada so okay, they've cool. made it almost back up so. <laughs> cool cool hey. Well, yeah, so that wraps it. Anything right. you guys want to plug or anything else you wanted to stick in there? No, or? just crazy family adventure. We are we are everywhere. YouTube, uh, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, our blog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're all yeah. over the place. So check it out and follow along in our next journey up the West Coast. Five yes. month road trip from San Diego to Washington. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah we actually uh, crossed you guys like, at least a year or two ago as we were getting ready for our RV trip. Yeah. And you guys don't know this, but you guys were part of the inspiration stories that helped us awesome. oh, to get Yeah, it was really cool to see the you. Jesse, thank they're crossing the border yeah. today! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's awesome. Yeah, well, yeah, thank it's you for saying that. Yeah, we appreciate yeah. it. We want to do this to show other people, like, you can do it with kids. Yeah. Yes. But, you know, you can figure it out. Like, just go for it. Don't think about it and not do it. Just go yeah. for it. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. How, do you, how do you guys like it, living in the RV, being in Mexico? It's pretty, like horrible, it? huh? it's pretty horrible, huh? It's pretty horrible. horrible. <laughs> uh, gotta go to another beach today. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, I have to see a whale. Yeah. Uh, what do you think, Carson? Uh -huh. Carson's happy when he gets uh, internet, too, so then he yeah. can play yeah. Xbox. Yeah. So yeah. We That's still nice. do all the normal oh, stuff, yeah. too, right? And then lots of times these guys play from sunup to sundown at the RV park with their cousins and would just be out all day long just having a blast. Yeah. So they enjoyed even just that stuff outside of all the cool and epic things that we do. Yeah. So. Yeah. Good place. For sure. But yes, yeah, so there you go. You've got it. You might not come back home unscathed. You might have some little <laughs> things happen. Yeah. But it's totally worth the adventure to go down to Baja. Yeah, it definitely. is. Do it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Thanks, guys, very much. Yeah. If you missed episode one, as we were on our way to Baja, driving through Texas, our Norcold RV refrigerator just quit working. Now, <laughs> anytime your fridge quits working, it's terrible. Like, that's, that's not a good situation for anyone. But specifically for us, we have to keep my insulin cold, literally a life-saving device. Um, so it's kind of a big deal when our fridge quits working. And we also really prefer to boondock for extended periods of time. So like, we need a working fridge. Yeah. So after that incident in Texas where our fridge quit working, we got it back up and going, but it gradually became weaker and weaker and mm -hmm. it was cooling less efficiently, which led me to do some shopping and I found out you can actually replace the cooling unit instead of the entire fridge. And this is great, I feel, for several reasons. First off, it saves you a lot of money. It's a, mm -hmm. a, a, a half or less of the cost of a new fridge. In our case, it was a third of the cost of a new fridge. It was also much less work for us because this RV, I'd have to remove the windshield <laughs> in order to get the old fridge out and a new fridge in, which is, I've said a lot, a fridge ain't cheap, and then you'd have to pull, pull your window out yeah. too. And what's funny is we had just had our front windshields replaced, the crack. <laughs> And so like, talk about an insult to injury. <laughs> we could have, but anyway. And then the third and final reason why this is such a, I think such a great 
choice is because it's that much less waste. You know, by mm -hmm. replacing an entire fridge, it's an entire fridge going to landfill. In this case, we're able to maintain or keep our fridge, our box, and just replace the failed components on the back of the fridge. And actually, speaking of the box, I'll add a fourth reason, trying to match the exterior of your fridge. <laughs> I mean, we were looking at fridges that would not have matched, like, <laughs> would not have been good, but we were going to do it because we thought that was our only option. So if you find yourself in need of a RV refrigerator or a cooling unit, we can genuinely say that the folks over at JC Refrigeration do a very good job mm -hmm. and they're made right here in the USA. We actually went and spent a week over there. <laughs> wasn't planned. Our truck broke down. We ended up in Shipshawana, Indiana, and we got to know the folks that make these mm -hmm. units. They offer a a couple of options. You can replace your old unit with a better performing RV style unit, or what we'd opted to do was get an upgrade mm -hmm. to go to a residential style cooling unit in our Norcold fridge, which is pretty cool. I have a whole video about the install. It's kind of long, but if you decide to do this, right up here, you can check that out. It walks you through all the steps I had to do, we had to do to get the new unit installed. They're offering you $50 off any cooling unit they sell, as well as a free consultation over the phone to figure out if a new cooling unit will be the right fix for your RV fridge. All you have to do to get this deal is mention this video or mention Jesse or Jenny with Outside Calling. <laughs> if you click up here, we'll have more information about the cooling units as well as a ton of other great resources mm -hmm. to help jumpstart your trip. We've got things like downloads, checklists, we've got discounts and promos. There's a yeah. whole lot of great resources <laughs> that will help you on your trip. Uh, just right here. In that so way. now we're off to our last destination in Baja, Mexico. Our last stop off for our trip. And we, I feel like we've, we saved the best for last. Oh yeah. There you go. That's good. <laughs> okay. I am a fair weather surfer. Water's gotta be warm, sun's gotta be out, wind has to be so-so. <laughs> but we actually have so much fun in Scorpion Bay that we stay a few days longer, <laughs> which means we're going to have to hurry to get up to Texas where I'll be part of the production crew for an upcoming RV movie. A big thanks to Craig and Brianna with Crazy Family Adventure. We'll link to their information and their channel down below. And a huge thanks to you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.